Hey guys, we are back with some more New York Islanders franchise mode. And something I forgot to do at the beginning of the last video, the awards. Better late than never, though. <laughs> so the LA Kings were the Stanley Cup champions. The President's Trophy went to the Tampa Bay Lightning. And it was LA versus Tampa in the final. Art Ross, Connor McDavid, Hart McDavid, Norris, John Carlson, Lady Bing, Patrick Kane, Calder, Middlestat, Conn Smythe, Quick, Vesna, Vasilevsky, Jennings, Vasilevsky, Masterton, Chara, Selkie, Bergeron, Ted Lindsay Award, McDavid, and Maurice Richard, Ovi. All right, there you go. <laughs> There's the awards. Again, better late than ever. So let us go to the scouts here first because we do have to assign a couple of the AHL scouts, or, well, mainly one of them. Yeah, AHL Central. It was Strumbolopolis to the north, right? Yeah. AHL. AHL North. Uh, wait, wait, wait. What is this? Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> I Because I, I saw AHL Central under current assignment. It got me confused a little bit there, but not we were all good. So now we have three guys in the extra league, which is not what I want to see. And then two guys in the U.S. East. So I'll send one of these guys to U.S. West. And that will be... That will be Hoyles. Let's get the better rating there. USA, USA West. There you go. So that's all good. Oh, this is good right here. Well, not actually... Not this. We need to send one of these to the Pacific... Rositas, I mean, A minus, Griffith, A. We'll send Griffith to the Pacific here. NHL, NHL Pacific, there you go. Okay, so we have Lebedev in the rest of the world. He could technically scout Russia, though, so I'm, I, I think I'm going to send him to Russia because I don't think we have any other good Russian scouts. Or at least none that are specialists. That are that specialize in scouting Russia. So Haglin in the SHL. I mean that makes sense. Yep. Dano in extra liga. I'd rather him scout like Dell or something or NLA. Skula. Yeah, I mean all of these guys are really good at Europe. And even in most of Scandinavia as well. So I might send one of these guys out to just to Liga. And I think that's what I'm gonna do here. As Liga usually has some pretty good prospects in there. So this guy will go to Liga. And then we will send one of these guys to a different league. So Dano, his best is extra Liga. Feichel, his best. Uh, he could go to the NLA as well. Yeah, we'll send Feichel to Switzerland. All right, so I believe that's it in terms of changes we need to make to the scouts. Yep, so let us back out of that, and we will get to the preseason here. Uh, but before we do, we're going to check the draft class just to see what we're working with. As we do have potential trade bait in guys like Nick Letty, Jordan Eberle, and it looks like the majority of the good prospects are forwards. Actually, there's not a single defenseman until Toyber at 11. <laughs> so, and that's what we're mainly looking for. I mean, of course, there is Lafreniere. And there's guys like Andreas Muller. But, I mean, let, let's let's wait for the first official release before we make any, like, decisions on what we're going to be doing as far as trading veteran guys on, you know, on long contracts. So we'll get to this game here against New Jersey. We'll see what they do in the simulation. I'm not going to play this game. All right, here we go. First period, nothing doing. Second period, three goals. Wallstrom, Bellows, and Salo, all rookies. Good job, boys. Third period, and two goals for New Jersey. Nason and Smith Pelly on Soderstrom. Overtime, nothing doing. Shootout. And a goal by Anders Lee on Mac Black for the 4 3 shootout win. Game against Columbus. We will simulate that one and see how our rookies do. And I think we're going to go into the game against the Rangers. 
First period, goal for Ryan Murray on Soderstrom. Second period, goals for Bjorkshen and Atkinson on Soderstrom. Third period, not looking too good. Yeah, seven goals on Soderstrom. Dubois, Prince, and Turkoff. So, yeah, we're going to put, for the Rangers, I think we will put in our guy in Hutchinson, who is apparently not that great but i mean we knew that just given his report card in the draft but again i want i just want to give him a chance just want to see what he's about so yeah i will leave wallstrom and all these guys in here ragnarsson is roughly according to this report a 64 overall so i mean that's yeah that's not terrible he's maybe a couple of years away bellows 69 i mean again none of these are completely accurate yet so we'll wait a few more games before we make any decisions on rookies but it looks like those guys are going to be sent back down. So we'll simulate up to the game against against the Rangers here. And we will actually, I think, you know what? We'll play against the Rangers. I'll play this game. But we'll, we'll only play the third just to make sure that it, it doesn't go on too long. First period, goals by Lee and Ottoson on Mazenik. Second period, oh my. Goals by Wallstrom, Pulak, Hickey, Lee, and Bailey on Georgiev and Mazenik. So they pulled Mazenik. Or Georgiev and Buchnevich on Hutchinson. So Hutchinson's shutting it down there, <laughs> proving people wrong. And we have a 7-1 to one lead against the New York Rangers. Actually, you know what? I don't even really... Should we even play this game? I mean, we're guaranteed the victory, but you know what? I still want to see the team, uh, mainly the rookies, so we'll go into it. But I will set the time on the clock and apparently Matt Barzell is now the captain, but you know what? I'm all right with that. Barzell deserves it. He had another solid season last year. So <laughs> your new captain is apparently now Matt Barzell, as if there was any question. So I'm going to set this for three minutes here. Uh, is it quick settings? No, it's not. Is probably game settings. Just so that we don't have to spend too long in here, as it is, again, a 7-1 to <laughs> game currently. So let's get into it. Okay, resume. Let's go. Barzell in the face-off. Yeah, I was, I was, I paused that at an unfortunate time there when uh, the face-off was about to happen, so didn't really have time to get ready. Wallstrom tries to block that, but Letty gets that instead. Dobson takes that for New York. For the Islanders, I should say. We're technically both New York here. Letty tries to intercept that cross creaser to the New York forward. And what do we have here? I have no idea. <laughs> let's, let's keep going. 17-15 remaining in the third period. Barzell on the faceoff once again. Good timing, but can't win it. Against number 23 on the Rangers. Shea takes that in. Dangles around, but can't get a good shot off. And oh my, Hutchinson makes the save on the goal line pretty much. As Wallstrom tries to get that stretch pass, but intercepted by the Rangers. Shea takes it for Girardi. Back for Shea. Over to Girardi. To Fast, to Spooner, and the Rangers are working the puck right now like something tremendous. Girardi over to Shea, back to Girardi, over and saved by the Beast, Hutchinson. As a shot blocked by Wallstrom, obtained by Dobson, and let's get uh, some other players out here now, as these guys I would imagine are pretty tired, and a cross-creaser attempted by Anders Lee, but cannot be... Shot by Barzell. As Barzell obtains that, sends it for Duclair, new num new New York Islander, number 16. And he gets crushed along the boards by a Ranger, but he retains possession of the puck. Gets it to Wild, over to Hickey. And Hickey hits Keetel along the boards. As Jimmy, uh, not Jimmy Hayes. <laughs> Kevin Hayes takes that shot on Hutchinson, who gets it between the pads with 9.04 remaining. Let's get a chance to see all these guys here. Hosang, Ducole, and Ragnarsson out. They're your first round pick for the New York Islanders in this past draft. And Salo out there now as well. Hosang takes that, number 26. Keetel over to Hayes. And Salo is back for the Islanders. Hayes takes that shot on Hutchinson, who will save it once again. And Hosang takes that up for the Islanders. Hosang tries to take that shot, but it is denied by the Rangers as they 
Don't want a two on two here. But D'Angelo over to Anderson. And Angelo, D'Angelo fans on the shot. Rangers get it up to the point where Hayes has it. And one timed by another Ranger in the slot as a great save by the Islanders goaltender Hutchinson. As Hosang obtains that puck in the offensive zone. Salo takes a weak shot on that. I do not intend to do that. 250 remaining in the third period in a 7-1 game with the Islanders dominating the Rangers here. As Sezikis turns on the boards, tries to find Wild but cannot as he is harassed by a Ranger. And Miller gets that puck, but not before Sezikis can get it. And an unfortunate turnover right there. Oh my, that was very dangerous as I am not on my game right now. Bellows. With 46 seconds remaining, takes that up for New York. Gets it. And the net was dislodged there. Let's get the first pairing out there in the first line as well. Lee Burzell and Wallstrom. And then Letty and Dobson. Burzell with the faceoff, finally wins one. Wallstrom back for Letty. And Letty, with the seamless puck pickup, cannot retain control of that. But Burzell... Ugh, just goes offside. <laughs> All right. Here we go again. Another face-off. Rangers have the extra skater out. Or, no, they do not. Never mind. <laughs> I thought they did because I saw somebody on the... Uh, next to the winger there, but... There was no second defenseman. As Barzell takes that up, circles around, gets tripped, and the Islanders... Are on the power play now. Everly, Barzell, and Lee with, I believe that is Pulak and Letty. Too late on the faceoff. Man, I'm really just not on my game right now. <laughs> Everly gets set up to Barzell. Barzell, oh man. The Rangers are just <laughs> playing clutch in this third period here defensively, and that will do it. And Soderstrom only lets in one goal in his debut. Solid game for him. And the New York Islanders, of course, get the win. All right, back in the minute here. Let's go the rest of the preseason. I'm not going to go into any more games. Don't need to make this video longer than it has to be. So we'll go up to the 30th here. And our first regular season game is against the Vegas Golden Knights, so that should be fun. Philly with a 6-3 to three loss there. And one more game against the Penguins. That is going to be a 6-4 to four loss. Let's check the preseason stats out for the rookies. Matt Burzell with 10 points in seven games. Not that we're surprised. And he is an 89 overall, officially. So that's nice to see. As Anders Lee, seven points. Wallstrom, we still don't have a full report on him. But he had six points in seven games. So that's pretty, pretty good. Everly is an 86 overall, four assists, two goals. Pulak with five. Bellows with five points. Pretty good. Ragnarsson with four points, and he is an official 66 overall. So he will definitely be getting some time down there in the AHL. But, you know, I think we made a pretty good pick there. He should be ready in a couple of years. Bailey with four points. Hosang with four points. And Hosang is not fully uncovered yet, but that is all right. You know, he's on the roster anyway. Sezik is with three points. Salo with three points. 68 overall for him. Bodie Wild, not, do not have a full reading on him as of yet. Duclair is an official 82 overall. So I, I'm glad I only gave him two years for that contract. You know, if we gave him the four years that he wanted, it would have been a different story. But you know what? We can afford the 4.1 right now. Nick Letty. Uh, Three years, 5.5 remaining. Still a pretty good player, so not mad about that. Thomas Hickey with one point. Ottoson with one point. He uh, doesn't look too good. It currently says 47 overall, but at least we know for sure that he is a low elite, so that's good. Del Cole with one point. Dobson, 76 overall, still not confirmed. So we might be sending him back down, it looks like. Goaltenders, Soderstrom and Hutchinson, not doing too great here. <laughs> As we see the sub 
900 save percentage is actually way below sub 900. We, we got 0.886 for Hutchinson and 0.837 for Soderstrom. So, yeah, they're definitely both getting sent back down for the AHL. And we'll be calling up our regular players here. And then we'll take a look at the draft class, see if there's any updates. And Hosang actually got partially injured there. So did Bodie Wild. So let's send out the goaltenders first, as that is the place where we need to upgrade the, the, the most. And let's see, as ter in terms of defensemen, we'll send out Sallow and Wild for sure. We'll call it Pelican and Georges. I don't know, we might have to play Dobson. <laughs> but he is he is a minor top two, but that's not set in stone. So maybe if we kept Dobson in the lineup for the first few games or so, just to get a better read on him, that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, especially since we're technically rebuilders here. And then you got Otteson, Ragnar, sitting in Bellows, who are definitely getting sent down in, in exchange for Nelson, Beauvillier, and Clutterbuck. And then maybe do we want to get Martin back up here? I mean, what's Wallstrom at? He's at a 75, but that's not... Again, that's not set in stone. So I'm Wallstrom might be one of those guys who we keep on the roster along with Dobson. I'll send down Doug Cole and we'll keep uh, we'll get Mar Matt Martin back up here. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be trying out Wallstrom and Dobson this year. We'll see how they do and we'll see what their actual overalls are. Presuming they're an NHL, keep them on the roster and if not then we'll I guess sign some free agents or or, or we'll even just call up some some uh, <laughs> some benders from the AHL or something. So let's just check the captains and jerseys. I mean, we already know that Burzell is the captain, but let's see the alterns, Bailey and Lee. Yeah, I mean that's that's fair. I, I want to have a defenseman though, so I'll take away the A from Bailey. Lee had a very solid season last year, and I'll give the other A to Letty. All right, so that is looking. Pretty good. Back out of that. Let's see if there's any update to the draft class. I would, uh, no, I did not mean to go to draft board. I wanted to go to draft class. Man, there's a lot more going right now. Uh, okay, so we barely have any information at the moment. I mean, we have this guy, Damian Mills. He looks pretty solid. I mean, again, he's against C minus competition with the US West. But that being said, he does have a lot, a lot of good attributes. Holy moly. A plus, A plus, A, A plus, A plus, A. So this is definitely going to be a solid draft. But we, I mean, we technically need that winger, right? So Mills not, might not be a bad idea. <laughs> he already has, I mean, he already has nine points in four games. So, again, that might not be a bad pick regardless. <sighs> But again, I'm set on getting that defenseman, but it looks like this year might just might not be the year for defensemen. So we might have to focus on wingers this year. Because I see one defenseman in the top 20. <laughs> Definitely not a good year for defensemen uh, if this is the actual draft order. So we'll wait for the update from our scouts, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be going for that winger this year. In terms of the draft. So is that anyone that we want to tank for? I'm not sure as of yet. So we'll head into the season with this roster. But uh, we will, I think within a month or two, know that know if we're going to be trading our veterans or not. So you know what? Um, let's Before we get into this game against Vegas... Let's check our lines just to make sure that everything's good because the preseason might have screwed the lines up a little bit. Okay, so best lines. So Duclair is at 82 overall. I mean, we already established that, but Wallstrom will leave on the fourth line. Sezikis will put on the fourth line. Martin will be on the fourth line. So <laughs> Martin, Sezikis, and Wallstrom. One skill guy there. Not too great, but Clutterbuck... 
Nelson and Duclair. I mean, yeah, he's a third line scorer. Ho Sang, we're not exactly sure about yet. So, you know, I'll put Duclair, I'll switch Duclair and Ho Sang for right now. And then Beauvillier and Bailey, I guess. Yeah, because that line of Lee Barzell and Everly was pretty solid last year. So we'll leave them together. And then Letty, Pulak, Hickey, Pellick. Uh, I mean, yeah, because I don't want Dobson on the top four yet. We'll keep him on the top six, like we have Wallstrom on the top, or on the bottom six, I should say. Power play, I mean, again, there's not really a whole lot that we can do in terms of power play. Hosang is, yeah, that's good. Maybe Duclair. Maybe we could get him on the point somewhere. I don't want Dobson on the power play. I'll put, yeah, I'll just put Duclair on the point. So that'd be Bailey, Beauvillier, Hosang, Duclair, and Hickey. And then you got... Eberly, Burzell, Lee, Letty, and Pulak. So you know what? That looks good. Burzell, Eberly, Bovillier, Lee. Uh, again, I'm going to take Dobson off. I'm going to get the third forward on the 4-on-4 four -four power play in Duclair. And then penalty kill, Sezikis, Bailey, Bovillier, Martin. I mean, let's see if there's anyone else besides Martin. I know Sezikis is pretty good as a penalty killer, right? Yeah, he's got that 80 for faceoffs. Bailey, yeah, Bailey's pretty good. Beauvillier, I mean, he's not the greatest, but, you know, he'll, he'll suffice for now. But, again, I want to see if there's anyone better than Martin here. Maybe Brock Nelson. I mean, yeah, he's not on the power play, so we'll give him the ice time there. And then you got Pula, Kiki, Letty, and Pellick. Yeah, that looks good to me. Sezikis, Pula, Kiki, Beauvillier, Letty, Pellick, yep. And then 4-on-4, four four, Burzell, Eberly, Letty, and Pulak. Bovillia, Lee, Hickey, and Dobson. I don't want Dobson there. I'll put Pellick there. And then George is with Dobson. And then Sezikis and Bailey. I want... Can Bailey take faceoffs? Yeah, he can take faceoffs. I'll put Bailey in the middle, and I'll get Duclair on here. And we can switch Duclair and... What's his name? Ho oh, Sang, as the season goes on, I think they're kind of interchangeable here because they're both third line scoring fours at the moment, and we don't know Ho oh, Sang's exact overall. And they're both young as well. So, you know, I, I want to give them both ice time, as much ice time as possible. Uh, but that being said, Duclair does have the second line, so maybe I should give it to Ho oh, Sang just because he has the less ice time five on five wise. Yeah, you know what? I'll give it to Ho oh, Sang instead of Duclair. Uh, where's Hosang? Hosang, there he is. There you go. Three on three would be Burzell, Eberly, Letty. That looks good. Beauvillier, Lee, Puluk, and then Sezikis, Bailey, Hickey. I'm going to put Bailey in the middle. Do the same thing here as with the four on four. Hosang, get in there. All right. Now, extra attackers, Burzell and Eberly. I'm going to... I like having my extra attackers be centers, so I'll do Burzell and Beauvillier. And then shootout, Burzell, Eberly, Osang, Lee, Wallstrom. Yeah, that looks, uh, well, do I want Wallstrom there? Yeah, you know what? He's got a good deking. He's got good uh, puck skills in general. So I'll leave Wallstrom there for right now. Then Leonard and Grice in goal. Scratched nobody. So we actually have to call up some injury players. But other than that, we look good to go. So roster moves. Defenseman, we will call up, I guess, Ajo. And then forwards, we'll call up Laredo. I want Del Cole to stay down there in the minors for right now. And then goaltenders, I mean, the, the minors is set for goaltenders. But you know what? I actually want Soderstrom to play down there, so I'll call up Gibson just as a replacement goaltender. So there we go. We have three goaltenders now in case Grice gets injured or Leonard gets injured. By chance, we can just do replace player. And then same thing with defensemen and forwards. So we're, we appear to be all set now. We can get on with the simulation. Nope, not best lines. <laughs> not making that mistake. Uh, so where's... Where's the line error here? Oh, is it in the AHL? Yeah, it must be. Yeah, yeah. So, I think I'll do best lines down here. Since not a whole lot of our prospects are down here, I wouldn't imagine. I mean, Wild's down here. Who else? Benoit. Sallow's down here. Okay, so we gotta dress Sallow. 
Who else? Ragnarsson. Sallow, Ragnarsson, and Ottoson. So uh, instead of instead of La Franchise, as good of a name that is, we got to get Sallow in there. And then forward wise, Koivula, we can replace with Ottoson. And then we can replace Holmstrom with Ragnarsson. And Ragnarsson will just stay, yeah, Ragnarsson will stay at the fourth line with Ottoson. And then I do want to sign some AHL players here so that Ottoson, Ragnarsson, and Bodie Wild can be successful here. So let's see, Sallow, yeah, I got to play him. Vanna Sumple, yeah, I'll play him. He's got that potential. Same thing with Waterspoon. Mayfield and Helgeson, they're good. So nothing on defense, but let's see. Yeah, definitely need some forwards here. Gianta, we got to replace. So hold on, let me let me write this down in terms of how many forwards we need. So that'd be Saint Denis. Yeah, two, three, four. I'd say five. Yep, yeah, five, six, seven. Jeez, and then eight. So we need eight forwards. <laughs> from agency so i'm gonna go do that right now just to make sure that our hl has a successful season and uh yeah let's see yeah that's eight okay we're good all right so before we get into the season let's check the draft class one more time yeah all right not a whole lot of new information there so we'll go into the simulation for one month and then we'll check up on everything so game against vegas here let's go into the first game just to see if there's a first goal for Wallstrom or Dobson. All right. Here we go. First period. Goal by Oliver Wallstrom in his first game in the NHL on Mark andre Fleury from the circle. Very nice. Glad I went into this game. Second period. Goal by Tatar on Leonard. And third period. Goals for Smith, Halla, and Cody Glass on the empty netter for the 4-1 Vegas win. So that's unfortunate. But the bright spot to that game being Oliver Wallstrom's first goal in the NHL. Matt Molson accepted. Here's all the AHL guys. Yep, there you go. There you go. There you go. All right, solid. So before we go any further, <laughs> let's just make sure the AHL's sorted out. So go to the edit lines. AHL. And I'll actually just do best lines here, and then I'll replace any guys who shouldn't be there with prospects. So, Johnston, I'll replace you with Ottoson. Almstrom, I will replace you with, um, actually, I'll get a winger in there. Ragnarsson, and there you go. So, that, yeah, that's about right. Bellows, we know is a 71. He's a minor scorer, so we'll get him on the second line somewhere. Setaguchi, I'll put him on the top line with Del Cole and Molson. Then we'll have Gotch. I'm going to say Booth and Bellows. And then we'll have Ragnarsson. Actually, Ragnarsson's the fourth liner, so I'll keep him on the fourth line with Ottoson and then going to be between Petty and Hamilton. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'll put Petty on the fourth line, Hamilton on the third. So there you go for that. Defensively, I mean, nothing really changed. Bodie Wild is a 72 overall, so we'll actually put him on the top four here, just to give him some time. The franchise, we will place you with Sallow. There you go. All right, let's just make sure all our rookies are playing. They'll call. And I think I want... Bellows playing power play. Goaltenders, Soderstrom, and uh, not Smith. I'll put in Hutchinson there in the backup goaltender role. So that's it for the AHL. <laughs> Let's finally get on with the simulation here. Just had to make sure that was all good. Want to make sure our rookies have a good year. So let's go a few games here. I'm going to make sure that we don't go past the nine game uh, limit for our rookies. So that's two... Six, eight. So this after this game against Toronto is nine. So let's go up to there, and we'll see how they do. Four-two loss 
against Carolina, 3-2 loss against Vancouver, 4-2 loss against Minnesota, 3-2 win, first win of the season against Dallas, okay. Uh, we'll view the draft class after we're done with the nine games here. 4-3 shootout win versus Pittsburgh. St. Louis, they're 7-2-1. Overtime loss against them. Hey, we got a point. Shootout win against Montreal. Okay, so we're very streaky. This team is very, very streaky. <laughs> I mean, we've had points in, what, the past five games? And the first four games, we were pointless. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, that is pretty much the definition of streaky as Brock Nelson with nine points so far in the season in nine games. And we are currently sitting in seventh in the Metro. So, and we kind of figured that given our start, but hey, we're we're not that bad at the moment. Ho Sang with eight points. And he is an 83 overall second line forward. So, you know, what? we will put him on the second line now. Now that we know his official overall. Because that is from, I believe that is from the offseason jump. That's not from, you know, um, playing those nine games this season. There's no way he grows that much in nine games. And then Clutterbuck, Clutterbuck, <laughs> with seven points in nine games. Lee with four. Where's Barzell? Barzell with four. My goodness. Wallstrom with four in nine games. He has a 77 overall depth forward. Huh. So would keeping him in the AHL for one more year be beneficial. He was a 73 at the start of last year. He's now a 77. He saw some good growth in the AHL, that means. And I think we'll send him down. I think we'll send him down. Brazil only with four points. Pulak with four. Eberle with four. Duclair with three. Bailey with three. Martin with three. Sezikis with three. Letty with three. Beauvillier with three. Hickey with two. Pelic with one. Aho has not played. George is nothing. Dobson, nothing. Minus four. He is a 78 overall, though. But he's a depth defenseman. So do we want to send him back down? And here, the, the question is here, would he go back to the queue? Or would he go to the AHL? I think he would, just because he's 19, I think he would go back to the queue. But I, he hasn't succeeded well enough for me to warrant keeping him on the roster. Because he has no points and his minus four. I believe that's the lowest minus for defenseman on the team. So, yeah. I think we're just going to be calling up some AHLers here. And we'll send down those guys. Because I think their development... If this game is anything like NHL 18, at least in terms of development, then Dobson and Wallstrom will... will Benefit from one more year in the AHL or from, you know, yeah. Okay, so Dobson is going to the queue, which is fine with me. He can just completely dominate down there. Confirm. Let us send them down. And we'll call up some other guys here from the AHL to replace them. Uh, I mean, <laughs> give McFlicker a chance. Or uh, McFlick, McFlicky A. Okay. All right. That makes more sense. I read that. I've been reading that as McFlicker the whole time. So that's uh, that's a bit awkward. But we'll call him up. Uh, Del Cole is a 76 officially. He's a depth forward. David Booth we could also call, call up. But we'll call him. You know what? I'll, I'll just call him McFlicker anyway because it's funny. McFlicker and Mayfield will call up. There you go. Okay. So we're going to have to. At the lines here for both the AHL and NHL. So fourth line, right wing, we will get Flicker in there. <laughs> and then defensively, we will get, I guess, Mayfield substitute in all lines. So I don't believe they, uh, I don't believe Dobson or Wallstrom were anywhere special teams wise. So that's, yeah, that's one less thing we have to worry about. Lander is actually an 84 now. So, he's actually jumped in overall from last year, I guess from the good year he's had, but so far he has not had a good year at all, 901. <laughs> and then as we go to the AHL, deal with the lines there. Yeah, we're going to have to fill in third line right winger, which would be, well, Wallstrom for sure. <laughs> we'll get him on the first line with Delco and Molson. And then I guess, yeah, I want to leave Bellows there. I guess Sadaguchi could just man the third line there. And then defensively, We'll get, I guess, LaFranchise back in there. Solid name. We'll get Van de Sopel on the top pair. And we'll put Watherspoon over here with, with Bodie Wild. 
Don't want to move Wild off the top four. So that should be it for that as well. Actually, got to make sure Wallstrom is playing power play and stuff like that. So we'll take Hamilton off and we'll get Wallstrom in. And I guess I'll put Bellows on the left wing. Uh, I'll put Wallstrom with Delcol and then B Bellows can be with Gotch. PK, I don't think Wallstrom is going to be on the PK. Four on four, I'll take Molson off of here and I'll get Wallstrom. Actually, is Wallstrom on this line? No, he's not. So we'll get, we'll take Molson off. We'll get Wallstrom in and we'll get him with Dal Cole. There you go. Three on three, we'll take Molson out and Wallstrom in. And then extra attackers, Dal Cole and Gotch. Shoot out. Wallstrom gets you in the second spot there. There you go. All right, so that, so that should be it in terms of line changes for everything here. So let's, um, I mean, we're 40 minutes into this video. What do I want to do? Uh, we'll go one more month just so we, uh, actually, before we get, <laughs> got to make a habit of checking the draft class here. Um, yeah, we'll go one more month, though, just to see the progress on these prospects. So Fallon, yeah, there's no... I mean, the best defensive prospect is Toyber, and he's ranked 10th. And then the, there's literally nobody after that until Standard, who's 21st. So I think this is definitely going to be the year where we get the winger. So Xavier Fallon is playing against the A- minus competition in Switzerland. He's got the A+, plus, A+, plus, A, A+, plus, A-, minus, A-, minus. so that's he's got a 200-foot game, offensive, playmaking abilities, his only weakness is reach so far, so he's like Nicholas Backstrom. What's his stats looking like? One goal, two assists. I mean, hey, in a men's league, that's not terrible in 14 games. Now, Lafreniere, <laughs> I mean, obviously, 25 points in 14 games. A plus B, B, A plus, A minus B. So, actually, actually, if this guy's still here, where was that elite power forward that I saw earlier? Uh, was it Mills? Yeah, I think it was Damian Mills. Yeah, it was Damian Mills that we saw here. A plus, A plus, A, A plus, A plus, A. Weaknesses are teammate utilization and reach, and then strengths are puck protection, goal scoring, one-on-one -on -one skill. So Damian Mills might be that forward that, uh, might be that winger that would complement Burzell very well because he is a goal scoring forward after all. And he has eight goals on the season, 15 assists, for 23 points in 13 games. But that is against U.S. West players. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, we might end up wanting to go for Andreas Mueller if we can, right? Because, I mean, he is the first-ranked player. Uh, we don't have him scouted. He's in the Dell. Now, I don't think we have any scouts in the Dell, do we? No, we do not. So, that might be something I want to do, actually, right now. Just so we can get Mueller scouted. Yeah. Because <laughs> he definitely, in a rebuilding year, or at least in a presumed rebuilding year like this you want to make sure you get the top guys scouted so we do not have any dell scouts so we'll get one right now just so that we can get that guy scouted so i believe that'd be europe right yes so we'll get this guy francois De De i know that's not desbiens but debian De De <laughs> if if i'm saying that correctly i i don't think so but I did my best <laughs> getting a scout there for the Dell. And we will send him out there as soon as possible. And we'll go this one more month here just to get some more information. Game against the Panthers, a 4-3 to three win. So we're actually, again, we're a very, very streaky team here. As it looks like we're just starting to warm up. And we'll send that guy out to the Dell. Okay, so who was it that we just signed? Debian. <laughs> Francois. So we'll get him out to Europe. Uh, Dell. Is that Dell? Where's Dell? Dell's right here. Confirm. There you go. Okay, so we now have someone on the, uh, the presumed first overall pick. And we'll go one more month just to see where we're at. But if we're, we're going the way we are right now, we might actually be able to be competitive. But then again, you know, we still need that elite winger for Burzell. 
Because we're obviously not getting an elite defenseman this year unless that guy who's ranked 10th or, or 12th or whatever it was is elite. If Josh George is injured. We could just replace player here. I, I highly doubt, again, I highly doubt we're getting that elite defenseman. So we're just going to be going for that winger this year. Salo has been injured in Bridgeport. We'll replace player, but we'll make sure to get him back in there when he is back. Scouting call. I mean, we're getting wins here. George's is back. I mean, I don't really care about George's. I'll leave him out of there for right now. Salo. Okay, so we got to get Salo back in. Uh, let's see. Who, who replaced him? It was Benoit. We will get Salo back in. There you go. Okay. Continue on the simulation here at Pittsburgh. With a, we have a shootout win against Pittsburgh. Getting these points here early on are your New, New York Islanders. Lost against the Rangers. Toronto and Montreal. Okay, so yeah. Very, very streaky team here in New York. Loss and against Chicago, we have. Come on now. Uh, Jason Hutchinson is injured until February 3rd. That sucks for him. He is an elite prospect. And we have an 8 to 3 loss against Chicago. So. Again, we're, we're not seeing that elite talent that we need to be able to be a competitive team. And it's just going to be more of the same as last year. So, I, you know what? Honestly, boys, I think we just start the rebuild right here, right now. But this is that being said, this has been a very long episode. So, I'm going to end it off here. And in the next one, we will be shipping out some players. I would imagine the likes of Nick Letty, maybe Josh Bailey, maybe Anders Lee. Maybe Jordan Eberle. Right, we got a lot of trading assets here in New York that we could uh, potentially accelerate the rebuild with. But before we end off the episode, let's check the draft class one more time just to get an update as to see who we, we, would, we would want. So, yeah, Andreas Mueller, medium elite, going first overall. He's playing against A-minus competition, so... He, he seems to be the consensus number one. Now, what is his strengths? He's got magic hands, skating, offensive creativity, A+, plus, A+, plus, A, A+, plus, A-, minus A. And then weakness is character, lacks size, lacks bulk. So he's not he's obviously not big, 5'8", 165, and he's basically my height and, and weight. So, I mean, he's he is very small, but he's got a similar style to Patrick Kane, so that's pretty exciting. Damian Mills, however, oh my, I mean, again, he's playing against the C-minus competition, so you have to take that into consideration when you look at the stats compared to Andreas Mueller. But, again, Mills does have the A-plus, A-plus, A, A-plus, A-plus, A. And he is also, he's also pretty tall. He's got that six-foot frame, 195 pounds, puck protection, goal-scoring, one-on-one skill, and his only weaknesses are teammate utilization and reach. So, I mean, when you take that all into consideration... I mean, we're if if we pick in the top five or even the you know the top three, it looks like we're getting a good player no matter what, and especially with Lafreniere there. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this draft. So it's really just a matter of preference at this point. So it's do you want the small skill guy? Do you want the elite power forward who looks like he could score some goals? Do you want the playmaker who is pretty well known? <laughs> I would imagine, and then Xavier Fallon. You do want that uh, two-way center who can play under Burzell. So, I mean, I think at this point, though, I would rather take the winger because it does look like a pretty good year for wingers. So, let me know what we should do, and I will see you guys in the next one.